What is up guys, welcome back to the channel and today I take you to two separate locations. First off Mushroom or Mouldy Manor and then we head into the Doll's House, a creepy time capsule hidden in the French countryside. On our first stop we visit Mushroom Manor, a four bedroom abandoned house left completely frozen in time when the owner, an elderly lady, passed away inside, leaving her life and everything else inside. The house now sits decaying in a small town in France, slowly being reclaimed back by nature. Absolutely amazing home, completely full. You can see straight away clothes hung up. Oh. All old tools in this back section here, flat caps, little hoovers, absolutely all sorts left here. All bandages and medical equipment, socks hung up still. Wow, there is so much left in here. The house is completely full. We will see why it's called Mushroom Manor or Mouldy Manor. Jackets still hung up on the back there, posters. Absolutely amazing. Is there a year on here? 2012 there guys. And then we're going to step up these steps in a sec. Just check out these cupboards. And see what we find up here. Oh wow. Completely empties out. Big dining room here, dressers, TVs, dining room table. Look at these double doors that open up. Shutters obviously over them now, but when they're open, imagine. Funky wallpaper, but look at this. Amazing dresser. Is this the last owner? Little old lady there. People have been in having a drink. Last exploring, I presume. Old radios, look at this china set. Plates, cups and saucers. Like an old retirement clock there. Oh, chesty already. But look at this, guys. Like I was saying, nice big dresser. Dining room table. Another old vintage radio, literally. Glasses on the side. Even some binoculars. Still sat here. Check out this lampshade. That's different, isn't it? Actually spins as well. Oh my days. I've never seen anything like that before. It does turn, oh, cob covered in cobwebs now. But it's proper interesting coming into these frozen in time homes. Just seeing what remains, how people lived. Old TV there. People have definitely been having a route, haven't they? You can see pictures that are slung everywhere. Here's another picture, is that from in here? I can't tell yet, but that's interesting. We'll have to look for that wallpaper in the hallway. But wow, these big old lamps. More dresses, religious, holiday snaps here as well, look. A wallet, check this old radio out. Wonder what the age is on that. Oh, it's all seized up anyway. They're not turning, but more holiday photos. Definitely cool to see. Like I said, quite clear in this dining room. You can see there's been a load of rubbish where this uh, dresser has collapsed. That's a shame, isn't it? You can see old newspapers, old clippings, probably kept for significant reasons. And now heading into kitchen. Nice big kitchen. Wow, just everything's left. Pantry here, still got your bags for life. We always say they will outlive all the owners. You can start to see the mold coming through now if you look at that door. But we'll just step over some stuff here. And you can see it's just completely filled still. Food in the jars. The table has collapsed. Hell of a lot of damage considering 2012. What's that? 12 years now. 11 years. Just so mouldy, look. Just stuff everywhere. 
Looks like bits have been thrown everywhere here. There's alcohol on the floor there. Books, everything's overturned. The cooker there, I don't know if you can make that out because of the light. But there's more food in those cupboards there as well. Three o'clock. Always stops at three o'clock for me. More microwaves. There's caps and stuff here as well, that. But I just can't get over it. There's clothes everywhere. What's the, is there a basement there? No, no basement, but you can see the stairs are there. So are we heading out this way? Oh, here's the front door. Wow, what an entrance. So here's the front door. You'd walk in, you'd see these big spiral staircase. Look at the mold, guys. Oh my days. A lot of decay in this house. All cassettes, CDs, all left here. That looks like another cupboard has collapsed there as well. Still got the last owner's shoes. Crazy. Let's check this room. Oh my days. Guys, check this room out. Old living room. Piano here. A Reggie Paris. Sofa's still sat here. Even got the old songbook. Oh, there you go, it still works too. It's not bad condition to be honest. Look at these books on top of this marble fireplace. Bird's nest still coming down the chimney. Revolution. Illustre. If anyone knows what these are, they like encyclopedias. Lamps here still, glasses case. Not sure what that is. So it's seen better days. More artwork. All the vinyls there. These shelves have been cleared out slightly. I can't get over this. Look how perfect condition. Besides the rubble on the floor and the paint peel. Actually really good condition room. Still got a typewriter in here. Books. Look at that chandelier. Just surrounded by paint peel. Absolutely beautiful. Some books moulding away in this corner here too. Crazy. This big mirror make the room look massive. What do you think so far guys? I think it's absolutely amazing place. So much left behind. Perfect conditions for an investigation I feel. I don't speak French so we're just going to have to wing it. I'm just going to have to shout out and see what happens. Maybe we'll get something, maybe not. More artwork. Cassettes, drawers, look. I feel like we should head up these stairs though and check out upstairs. Look at the carpet runner up the middle there. Amazing. Check out this black mould. I'm not going to be hanging around too long on these upper floors with all this mould. It's not going to be too healthy now is it? But we've got another floor to check out as well. So we'll do that in a sec. Let's start in this room here. Quite overturned. Does have an office vibe here. All the books have been pulled off the bookshelves. Oh. Looks like it would have been a really nice house at one point. You can see his desk there. Looks like there would have been another desk there, but it's collapsed. Oh. Just trying to get around. This looks like a kid's room. So they obviously had children. Just going off the wallpaper as well. Look at that, that's funky, isn't it? Juliet Greco. Just love these shutters though. See all the ivy coming up the sides as well. Amazing. And we still have clothes left. Personal possessions all over the floor. Oh, just trying to maneuver my way through these rooms. It's quite difficult. Oh, the chairs out on these la on this landing here. But this is the famous room. It's what makes the house well known. The mouldy bed. Look at this, guys. Look at the decay. The quilt cover is just completely rotten away. Pillowcases, mould, just absolutely everywhere fur all over the ceiling here i am stood by the window guys so we're, i am getting some ventilation but look at this 
bags, handbags. Wow, this is crazy. Just absolutely surrounded by mold. It's insane to see like, when I think of like The Last of Us and stuff, 100% just fungus mold everywhere. It's absolutely crazy to see that. And into these back rooms, bathroom here. How's a bathroom got in this mess? Clothes all over the floor, drawers, smash sink over there, bidet. How's it even getting in that condition? It's a mirror covered in cobwebs. Wow. The mold around this doorway as well. Beds overturned, clothes everywhere. But check this out. The last remnants of life in this room. The two armchairs, the picture, the portrait here. Not sure who that is, maybe a past owner. But just once again, surrounded by mold, decay, just everything. One more floor to check out, guys. We'll head up there now, and see what's happening. What do you think of this house so far guys? Leave it in the comments. Leave a like if you're enjoying this vid. And then we will check up this last floor. Bannister's a bit sketchy, Jesus Christ. Oh, it's huge. Wow. And it is roasting hot up here. More clothes over in that corner. Do you just want to be careful because I don't want to end up lying on that bed underneath us. More clothes. Christmas decorations. Wow. Ooh. Stop moving, it's scaring me. Making a right racket. But this is insane, more vinyls. There doesn't seem to be like a lot of other stuff. Just vinyls and stuff like that. There's the family. I feel like it has been cleared out, but they've just took what they can. Oh, I'm just gonna be so careful walking around up here. We're right above that moldy bedroom now. And there is just so much left behind here. Okay, explorers, there is the house. Moldy Manor, Mushroom Manor. Hope you've enjoyed that. Our second stop takes us north to a house nicknamed the Doll's House. This small cottage sits completely overgrown and hidden by the overgrowth that now covers the property. Inside I find the last owner's whole lives left completely untouched for decades. Some say when the owner's daughter passed away, she struggled to cope with the loss and turned her house into a shrine for her, filling every room with dolls to remind her and make her feel her daughter was still around. All I can say is that it's a mystery to why this house sits abandoned today, so join me as I take a look inside and see what remains. Okay guys, we are inside the house now. This place is nicknamed the Doll's House. It is so creepy in here. It's completely frozen in time, full, everything left behind, and one of the best houses I've seen for a long time. Really think you're gonna enjoy it. Okay guys, so we're starting in what looks like a dining room, living room area. And like I said, just completely full. Everything's left in this place. Check it out. Dead plants, cobwebs hanging down, artwork, cover curtains still hanging. It's quite dark in this place as well. Old photographs just sat here still. Not sure when this place was abandoned, but it looks like it's been a while. I mean, look at the shutters. That is crazy. Debris falling from the ceilings all over this cassette player. But yeah, hearing stuff already. Check this old clock here. Might be the wind. Old family photographs just covered in cobwebs. Wow, this is crazy. Definitely got haunted vibes. Haunted house here, eerie, eerie vibes. Books, VHSs, old tube back TV here. 
Check this dining room table as well. Whole place just left frozen in time. Oh wow. Old photo album. Looks like that's the lady that lived here. There's the house with an old tank rolling past. Wow. Wonder what that's from. Here's pictures of the house from back in the day. Looks nothing like that now. Wow. Sofas in here. Plates hung up. Just cobwebs everywhere, guys. Oh, nearly fell over them. Look at this dresser. Just all glasses, plates left inside there. China. Old clocks. What's that? Is that rum? Yeah, got rum left in here as well. And the old flowers. Oh my days, what the hell is that? Whew, definitely seen better days. Guys, this is creepy. This is creepy ass. Check the old stereo out. And keyboard. Organ, is it? Electric organ. Farissa. <sighs> Little puffet underneath. Bet that's had some tunes rocked on it. Wow. Check the old wallpaper out as well. And that picture drawn in 1979. Wallpaper coming down. With cobwebs hanging from this light. You can see all the ceiling tiles are falling down too. It's a right shame. Just clothes hung up inside there. Wow. You can tell it was an actually beautiful house back in the day, well looked after. It's such a shame to see it in the uh, decayed state it is now. But good for us, I suppose. Perfect amount of decay. Heading into the kitchen. Wow. Old ovens, fridges. Oh my days, what the hell is that? Looks like slugs. But look at the decay, rust in here. That calendar from 2003 there. Wow, so 20 years. Looks about right. Flowers, old deep fat fryer. But look at the paint peel around these plates. Is this a daughter, maybe? Or potions in there. Even the decay on there, look. Little TV in here. All the cupboards are full. Ooh, eels. Just completely full, guys. The ivy coming through this window. And then another medicine cupboard. There's a couple. All different things in being used as shelves, but they are old medicine cupboards. This one's actually got medicine in. Wow, look at this cobweb coming through. Oh, I don't want to get my head on that. Just look at these plates. Artwork in the corners, just covered in spiders. Ivy. Another kitchen table here. I suppose this had more practical use than the other one. The other one was for eating. This one's for preparing food, I'm guessing. Let's see what that tapping is. Oh my days. It's like an old greenhouse. Look at these plates, all handmade. Mermaids. Wow. Horns, they're absolutely everywhere. I 
think it's a plastic in the top there. Another fridge there. Like a utility cupboard. the neighbour's garden right next door there and although we're not doing any damage it's hard to explain what you're doing when people don't understand the exploring world all right let's keep going look at these double doors that lead in absolutely amazing we'll head upstairs in a second wow look at this bedroom oh hello who's this Looking right at me. Look at this cobweb hanging down over this tapestry artwork. And you can begin to see the dolls that have been left. This is amazing. Look at the artwork again. She liked mermaids. And another medicine cupboard. That's like six we've seen. Thermometer on the side there. Wow, just so much stuff left in here. Old magazines. Just trying to see a year. Oh, I can see October. It looks like it's been ripped off. Some vinyls. Discus. I'm not sure what that is, guys. Another piece of art from 1979 on the wall there. More vinyls on the floor. A little bookshelf. The wallpaper is quite funky in each room though. I do like it. Is that some artwork in this wardrobe? Yeah. More pictures, clothing left. Another tapestry that's fallen. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, that's so creepy. Imagine if that just blinked or something now. Be gone. Another one over there, that one looks more alive. Oh, disgusting. But check this big oak double bed. The details on there. Absolutely amazing house. TV in the corner. Pictures of animals. Wow curtain covering this doorway looks like everything's been made here handmade as well oh my god big writing bureau a desk here possibly sat here did some work old photographs of the family that lived here amazing all black and white So many as well. All the family photographs. Absolutely love finding stuff like this. Old cassette player. What the hell is this? Like a little taxidermy lizard. Oh, just sat here. And an old video camera, check that out. Telefunker. That's cool. You can see the damage, the plaster coming away from the walls. More paintings covered in cobwebs up. Oh, a little shower room. Wow, tiny. Cobwebs in here. Imagine the spiders that are in here. And a chair in the shower, obviously, because she was elderly. CDs just in the box. Oh my days. Pornos. What the hell are they doing here? The DVDs. Oh, I can't show you the back of that, guys. I'm going to have to blur this. Absolutely vile. Just videos. Don't look what they are. But look at this. Just completely full. Books everywhere. 
Oh, might have to take my bag off for this part. Can we squeeze through here? Oh, I can't see where I'm going now, that was daft. Oh my God, look at the cobwebs. You can see the makeshift ceiling just coming down, dripping inside. What do we have here? Oh, a little toilet, little water closet. Wow, just filled with books. That's crazy, just completely full with books. How long were they in here? Is that a Bible? I'm not sure. But more pictures, vases, books, just absolutely everywhere. Crazy. This room is definitely not going to last much longer. Oh, has been abandoned for 20 years, we believe. Oh, cobwebs. But this is absolutely insane, just completely frozen in time here. You can actually see how they lived here as well, which is nice. Absolutely beautiful little house. I think it's time to get some pictures for Instagram. Head upstairs, see what we find. Should be interesting. Okay guys, time to head up and see what's lurking upstairs for us. Look how steep these stairs are. Does look quite makeshift as well. But oh, we'll give it a go, see what we can find. An exercise bike right in front of me. Oh my days. Oh my bag, I thought it was a rat. Oh, what's in there? Oh, just all bits and bobs in there. But check out all these magazines. Just stacked up. So many left here. And in there. Oh, I think that's empty. I can't see them. Oh, this bike's right in an awkward position. Look at this. Oh. Get out of my way, you bastard. Right, we're up. Another old TV there. Check that out. Clothes. Storage, benches, chairs, something furry lurking in that box. And more books just on this bookshelf, hiding away. And then we just have the last room, which I believe is the daughter's room. And look at this, guys. Look at these creepy buggers. All the dolls just waiting for their owner to return. Which she never will. Hanging on the top here. Oh my days, this is so creepy. My worst nightmare. Look at Blue here. What have you seen? And then this ginger one. Oh, that's evil. That is evil. Who hurt you? Guys, check this out. Have you ever seen something so vile in all your life? Oh, look at that, just to top it up. A little shadowed picture of the woods. It's where they belong. But this is absolutely insane, explorers. All the flowers here, all dead. Children's artwork on the wall. Hope it's children's, I'm not just offending her. Bird's nests in here, look. Wow. Guys, it's only a small house. This is everything. The garden is completely overgrown. So, if you're new here, subscribe. Check out the main channel, something you might like. And uh, what a place. What a place. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit notification for future explorers. And I'm on to the next one. Whew, let's go.